Trees and limbs line the streets of New Haven neighborhoods as people clean up from last night's storms. Some will be able to get themselves sorted, dealing with just some branches in the yard. Others will need help getting old, tall trees off their property. Unfortunately for Brittany Marker, she's one of those who will need help. It was really, really honestly scary, you know, having my 10-month-old son in my arms during this whole thing was just truly very uh, nerve-wracking. Her boyfriend and her grabbed their 10-month-old and headed for shelter next door as the first round of storms came through. After it died down, we went back home. You know, it was like, okay, this is just done, just a bad storm. But it wasn't done. And it started picking up again about 4, 4.30. And you could actually see it sitting in my living room, the tree, like, the, it caved in. So, you know, my boyfriend grabbed the grabbed the baby and was like, we need to get out of here now. And not even five, ten seconds after we walked through their door, the tree was in my trailer. A huge tree came crashing through a trailer right in their living room where they were sitting mere seconds before. After the storm passed, they came back out to assess the damage. The site was grim. Still dealing with the shock of losing her home, Brittany is trying to keep it together, saying she has to keep going. I can't walk around with my head down at the ground. I gotta keep going. I have my son that I have to keep working for. I'll find something sooner or later.